Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you'd think at some point in all these episodes that we're doing that you'd somehow figure out what camping was about, but. Hey, Billy, what are we shooting today? I think we're gonna do winterization today. What do you even need to winterize something for? Well, if you think Dura Fawcett likes you now, wait till you don't winterize and see how much money you spend with them. <laughs> now I get why Trina hits them. <laughs> we got into the time of year where it's time to winterize our coach. <laughs> I was out of sync there. So back up. That's, that, that's great, Billy. So. And Billy, so far we. Son so far. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the Bob Hurley Outdoor Adventure Series. I'm Derek Searcy. And I'm Billy Taylor. And today we're going to talk about winterizing our coach. Yeah, and it Derek, can we take a moment and have a moment of silence for those that have to winterize their coach this year? <laughs> Thank you. So, man, so is, is, is winterizing, is that hard to do? No, it's not. Um, it can be misleading for those that don't know, but that's what we're hopefully we're gonna overcome today. And we're gonna show how easy it is really to winterize your coach. It's really a pretty simple process. We have all the stuff to do it with, and freeze everything. So um, if you wanna learn, Derek, let's walk out here. We got a charger set up out here and we'll just start going ahead and uh, ah, showing how to winterize. Awesome, let's go check out our coach then. Okay. Hey guys, so we're out here at our coach, our Springdale 260BH. So Billy, what's the, what's the first step to winterizing? So Derek, first thing we want to do, I always try to get the water heater draining because it seems to take a little bit the longest to get done. So we get the water heater draining, then we'll go, we'll remove our low point drains, remove our drain for our fresh water. We'll jump inside, we'll bypass the water heater at that time, and then we'll go to the water pump and start pumping antifreeze through it. So let me get this anode rod. We have a Suburban on this one. There's a Suburban and a Dometic. Um, the Dometic has a white nylon nut right in the very center. You're just going to pull it out. This one has an anode. This anode helps protect this porcelain rod. Okay. I've already got it broke loose here, so I'm going to pull it out. That's the anode rod. You always want to pull it out and inspect that once a year. Okay. Um, so it gives you a good time when you winterize. Now, Derek, if you will, reach up underneath there. There's two low point drains. All right. Will you undo those caps for us? All right. I'm going to put those and, over here so we don't we lose them. We set them right there in that water heater. We have another one right here for the fresh water tank that we want to undo. So now that we've got it off, I'm just gonna set it right here. Now I'm gonna run in, I'm gonna bypass, let's get this water heater bypass. So now we can come back out here, pump a little air through the system and I'll explain all that here in just a second. So let's step inside and let's get that bypass going all right. right quick. So here, we're inside here, we're moving our panel so we can access the backside of our water heater. Let me get this stuff out the way. And here's our valves for the water heater. And what we wanna do is we wanna stop flow in and flow out of the water heater. We want nothing getting in. So we're gonna flip these valves just so we can uh, get the flow going the right direction. And there we go. Now our water heater's bypassed. Now we can screw our panel back on and we're good to go. So now that we've got our uh, uh, water heater bypassed, we're gonna, we're gonna hook up our blowout. We're gonna blow a little bit of water out. We're not concerned about blowing the whole system out. We just wanna get down to the low point drains. We really wanna get from here down to where the water pump ties in at. So we wanna blow that out. Um, I have what we call a blowout plug. They make a couple of different styles. Um, I use this one. Remember, we got our low point drains off. That is very important when blowing them out. You don't want your valves shut. You don't want your low point drains all uh, buttoned up. You will blow something apart. You lower pressure of the system. I got you. Um, so we've got our low point drains off. We're fine. We're good to go. So all we're going to do, compressor, I'm just going to hook this up, let this blow out till a little bit of air comes out down there. Once we get the water blew out, now we're good. Now we're able to start pumping antifreeze. We're going to use our pump. We have a valve on our pump that has an extra hose coming off of it. So we can stick that in the antifreeze, turn the pump on, and let it start pumping. I got you. Now, do they all have hoses that come off of them like that? They don't. Okay. Um, there's a couple other ways we can do it. We, we have two ways we can do it. Um, one, we have an antifreeze hand pump here that you can actually, you're going to screw into here, dip the other end in an antifreeze bucket, hand pump it. That was really good for two people, one inside so they can open the spigot. It has one sitting out here pumping and shoving the antifreeze throughout the whole system. Um, okay. a, another one, um, and we'll show you a little later, we have some stuff upstairs um, that you can actually add the valve and everything here for it as well. So you can do it, you know, either way works real good, but just get that antifreeze through the system. So now we've got our system blew out. Um, I've already accessed our, our uh, water pump here. I've already accessed our hose. We're gonna take this hose, poke it inside this antifreeze jug here. We'll go inside, we'll turn the pump on, and then we'll start pumping antifreeze through everywhere. Okay.
So Billy, obviously that's how you winterize a 260BH, but are all trailers the same? Uh, no, they're, they're all, every unit is uniquely different in their own. You know, travel trailers, fifth wheels, motor homes, they all have different scenarios in them. You know, washer, dryers, um, uh, dishwashers, outside showers, outside kitchens, just a lot into it. That was a basic. Um, simple, easy one, so we done it. Uh, we didn't get into too complex of one, but uh, that was a pretty simple one. Uh, and every unit's gonna be a little different in how you do it and what you do, but that just kind of gives you the general idea of it. We do have all kinds of product here, so you know, no matter which coach you do have, I can get you where you need to be. You know, when you're winterizing these, you know, filters, that's something good to replace as well to have ready for next season, anode rods, the, all that good stuff that you be ready well, for. Well, and guys, we've got everything that you need at the outdoor centers for the do-it-yourselfers, but you know, not everybody has the time to do it themselves. So if you ever need us to help you out with that, we've got a service department that you can reach out to, 918-947-8800, or check us out online at bobhurleyrv.com. <laughs>